he ain't even got much chance. I mean, you see the damn sparring with guys. I mean, you big guys. I mean, he's if he do, I'm you'll never see. I, I would never even put him in. I wouldn't show the boxing gym, and then he have to do a little boxing. So there's no way. I guarantee. I mean, I guarantee it's over, dude. It's over for. Well, I'm my end his career. It's all good. Like I buy him a beer afterwards. I mean, you know what I mean. The Fight Club is clean, it's got great new bags, everything is, is great, but I'm, I'm like Club Elaine, I'm training by myself, man. It's like, I actually picture Mo right there on me, like, you know, I get tired, like, punch it back, boo, punch it back, boo. So, I've had two years off, but I feel like it's done. I mean, my body has had a full recovery. I mean, I had a lot of, I'm like, I'm like an NFL, I'm always on the probable list. Like, I always got something that I'm not, I've never been 100%, I'm still not 100%. Um, there's always, I don't think box ever tells you 100%. That means they ain't been training hard enough because, you know, I mean, we're in here, you see us in here, we were scrapping, man. I mean, you hurt your hands every day, you hurt, you know, this thing's kind of big. I hurt my nose sometimes. Uh, I'm a much more intelligent fighter. I mean, even today, um, you see me as a, as a, uh, my earlier professional career, I was very, very aggressive, but straight aggressive. Now, I, I'm more aggressive, I'm still aggressive, you see, I'm still coming in, but I'm, I'm, pick I'm picking my shots, I'm slipping. I think I'm more of a, uh, um, more patient, 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 aggressive. If that makes any more any sense. Yeah, it's gonna be a dynamite car, man. That's what I, I just can't wait for because I remember the last time I fought on like a almost like like a card almost this. Jake told me this is the biggest card he ever had. I mean, I'm selling tickets. Everybody selling tickets like crazy. Um, I remember standing up there and dude, you come down the steps before you come in. And I remember my song came on, and one guy turned around and looked at me. He was like, "There he is, dude." The hair on my neck just like stood up, man. I was just like. It's the one popping now. It's like, let's get it on. So, my favorite saying is, it's all about how bad you want it. You know, I know it's not proper grammar, how bad you want it. Well, my sister's like, it's how bad do you want it? How bad you want it? If you want it bad enough, guess what? I want it more. You know, you want it bad enough, I'm still, I, if you're running five miles, I'm running six. You know, I'm running seven, I'm running eight. If you're doing three rounds sparring, I'm doing 13 rounds sparring. Um, it's all about how bad you want it. Cause skill only goes out. It goes out the door in the first, second round. You know, you may be a little better boxer, get out there, look kind of good. But guess what? The third, fourth round, I'm picking it up. You know, you can't stay in the heat. You know, that freaking steam pops gonna blow. None person when we get in the ring, I'm gonna be the one coming out victorious. Is there's no doubt about it. You can mark my words right here.